guys, welcome back to Shina's Kitchen. So today we're going to be making a really simple dish. We're going to be making a pan-fried fish fillet. And not just any pan-fried fish fillet, we're going to be using red stuffer, which is very easy to find here in Kenya. And the recipe I'm making is a simple, healthy pan-fried fish fillet. And then we're going to have that with some tomato and cucumber salad. All these ingredients are things you can find like at your local market in Kenya or in the supermarket. So they're all readily accessible ingredients. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and get my fish. So once you have your fish, go ahead and get like a kitchen paper towel. <laughs> your kitchen paper towel is just to ensure that your fish is nicely pat and dry because this will help it when you're pan frying it. It's going to be very nice and crisp. Otherwise, if you don't pat it dry, then it's going to be like damp and you'll get like the nice crispy exterior. So for your fish, you want to make sure you have a very nice uh, fresh fish fillet and you can tell with the skin color. So to go ahead, you want to trim off the parts that you're not going to use. And especially if they're bones, you, you're going to see them. So like these bones, I'm going to just pluck them out. If they're very visible, you can just pull them out. Otherwise, if they're not visible, you can feel through and then use a tweezer to pull them out. But for this, there are no other bones, so that's fine. So once you've trimmed your fish, go ahead and cut your slices. And depending with the size of your fish, you can get um, about three to four slices. So for the seasoning of the fish, I'm using some black pepper, some oregano, paprika, and salt. And then you want to make sure that your fish is well seasoned on both sides. So just turn it over and use the rub from the other part of the fish to spread it out evenly. And whatever seems to be less then you can add on the seasoning. So once your fish fillet is nicely seasoned, it's time to head on over to the pan. So to the pan, I'm just going to go ahead and um, just wipe the pan. Just ensure that the pan is dry and then pour in your oil. I'm using olive oil. Like I said, it is a simple light recipe, so not much oil. And then just swirl the oil around the pan so that it coats the pan evenly and when you cook your fish, it will evenly brown. So get your fish and place it in your pan. The oil should be hot by now. The sizzle, that's the sound you should be listening out for. And then make sure you have enough space so that the fish has ample room, so it's not touching. If you look closely, you can see the size of side turn white. So that's when you know it's time to turn your fish. Ooh, look how golden brown that looks. Whenever you're frying fish, always make sure that your heat is not very high, because then if it's too high, it's going to either undercook your fish or overcook the exterior. So depending on the size of your fish and the thickness, um, cook it for about three to five minutes on each side. So once your fish is ready, um, you can place it onto a plate. Look how nice and golden brown it looks. Oh, yummy! So once your fish is cooked, go ahead and get your vegetables for the salad. I'm using cucumber and tomatoes, so I'm just going to slice off the edges. And put this aside. And then just for beautifying purposes, <laughs> I'm going to partly peel the cucumber, but not all the way through. 
I always find if you peel your cucumber this way, it just makes it look nice and pretty. But there's no other reason for it. So you can keep the skin or peel off the skin. So this is what you should get once you've peeled your cucumber. And then cut it into half. And then quarter. Personally, I like to take off the seeds from my cucumber. This is a preference. So just angle your knife and uh, take off the seeds and cut off the seeds. That's the simplest way to get them off. Alternatively, you could peel from above. So once you've peeled your cucumber and removed the seeds, go ahead and slice it however you'd like. I'm just cutting them into diagonal, but you can cut them into dices, cubes, whatever you like would work. And then your cucumber slices are all nicely chopped. You could eat them at this stage if you wanted to. <laughs> so next, get your tomatoes. So for your tomatoes, I'm going to just slice this the same way I've sliced my cucumbers, just to give them a uniformity. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, slicing, slicing my tomatoes. And you could remove the seeds if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave them in. And then place them on a plate once you've diced your tomatoes. So once your tomatoes and cucumbers are chopped, get some parsley. You could use dania if you don't have parsley. But I like the taste that parsley gives, especially when you have a little fish. So I'm going to go ahead and chop my parsley. So once your tomatoes, cucumbers are ready, go ahead and put them in a bowl. Cucumbers, some parsley, so get some lemon. The lemon will just add some flavor to the salad and then we're just going to squeeze this. And use your hand to hold the seeds. Season your salad with some salt and some pepper. Add some olive oil and then mix your salad. and flaky if you have a look you can see how flaky it is so if you guys really enjoyed this recipe the pan fried fish fillers with a tomato cucumber salad which like I mentioned earlier is a really simple healthy recipe that you can make make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to it so that you can get notifications every time I upload so definitely comment down below how you like to cook your fish what you like to have it with and subscribe to my channel until next time bye